people. How are you? I am I am like cold. That's why you see me in my my little blanket. You know. That's why you see me in this blanket. It's cold. I'm cold. I'm always cold. I don't like I don't like to be cold. I'm from New York. But I don't like the cold. <laughs> I don't like it at all. But anyway. Doing a little Bible reading, Bible study today. I try to get at least one, at least one chapter a day in. I'm sorry about the lighting, but yeah, it's going to be a little dark. But yeah, I try to get at least one hour, I'm sorry, one chapter a day of Bible reading, Bible studying, because I don't know. I'm, I feel like I'm I'm obsessed with with reading the Word of God, you know. But you know, I'm 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 reading and I'm I'm, I'm getting a lot of uh, I would say sound wisdom because I, you know I, I I pray I pray for sound wisdom or whatever. Um, but I also have when I'm reading the Bible, I also have a guide alongside it to help me really understand each each verse each chapter and and, and what it's really trying to say but as i was as i'm reading today studying i, I i'm on jo I'm, I, I was reading joshua 7 and basically just just to um Just to say something about Joshua. Joshua seven was was where, you know, uh, where the Israelites were defeated. They just uh, they just crossed over to the to the to Canaan. They defeated they defeated uh, uh, Jericho. They you know they defeated the king of Jericho. They conquered Jericho by breaking down the walls. And now they're on they're, they're in, in Joshua seven, they got defeated in 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 AI, AI you know spelled A I, but they got defeated. The reason why they got defeated because God wasn't with them at this time, and the reason being is that one person, one person has uh i would say he's he's coveted some some things some 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 things that the god that god has said is a, is an accursed thing so in the battle of jericho which is the first battle that the israelites you know engage in when they cross over one of the israelites soldiers he took up a spoil he took up some some accursed thing god god say hey don't take any accursed thing from from these people because it's a curse it's abomination don't take it you know what i'm saying he he, he told them don't but there's one guy named aiken or arkin he takes it. He disobeyed a commandment. He, he he disobeyed a command of the Lord. So now when they when they move to the to the battle of AI, they were defeated. The Israelites were defeated. So Joshua Joshua is is like I said I'm reading Joshua. Joshua is He's the commander. He took he took he took over from Moses after Moses after Moses dies. So Joshua's in command of, of the Israelites now. So he when when they got when they got defeated, when 36 men got killed in the battle of the of AI, when 36 men were killed, he's looking like, oh, what what? What happened? thought god was with us something happened 
You know, he 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 fell on his face like what's 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 going on? God came to him. God went to him like, "Hey, get up. Is Israel has sinned. That's why you were defeated at AI. Israel has sinned." Now, Let's get let's get to some context right now. If you read the if you read Joshua 7, it said Achan or Arkin, let me see. Achan. Achor, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was saying his name. Uh no, Achan. That's I said it right. <laughs> Achan was one man one soldier right and he committed the sin right but what does god say what does god say to joshua god says to joshua israel has sinned he didn't say achan has sinned he didn't single achan out he said israel has sin. That means the whole entire nation, everybody has sinned. That's some and and I even got to the context, you know, like I haven't got to the context. I, I'm I'm saying he didn't just say one man has sinned. He says Israel. How does that affect your life right now, right? You're thinking like, what, what, what am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? <sighs> this is what I'm trying to say. When people ask, so people of today, when people of today that, that, that ask, you know, when they ask questions or if they feel like Jesus shouldn't be worship or or shouldn't you shouldn't follow Jesus or follow, shouldn't follow God when people ask that question when people ask the question I'm gonna ask I'm gonna say the question when people ask a question why does God allow suffering hmm why does God allow so why does God allow Children, women and children to be raped. Why does God allow innocent, the innocent to perish? Oh, they, they've been, they, they innocent. They didn't do anything. Why God took them or is taking them? Why are they suffering? Why people are, are out in the streets poor and can't do nothing for themselves why does god allow suffering that's the question you ask right you ask that all the time right this is my answer this is this is what's the word rebuttal this is my answer You got to realize God does, he, he does allow, he, he allow, he allows a lot of things to happen. He allows you to commune with him. He allows you to, to, to come talk to him if you want to, but he allows, he, 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 he allows more free will than you, than you could ever Imagine he allows more free will than than you could ever think of. So the question, if you're gonna ask the question why God allows suffering, it's it, it, it it's gonna come off as if you're blaming him for the suffering, right? So if I so if I ask God, God, why why do you why do you allow suffering? Why do you allow all this pain and suffering and destruction? It's as if, if I ask that question, it's as, it's as if 
I'm blaming him for it. Which you can't really say. You can't say you're, you know what I'm saying? You can't even, that's not even, the, the thing is, that's not even the right question to ask. Because if you ask that question, it's as if you're blaming God for it. When God has done nothing but good in your life, in this life, in, in Genesis 1, he says that he's created the heaven and the earth and all things in it. And guess what? It was good. Read Genesis 1. He said it was good. So what he created the heaven and earth and, and man, it was good. It wasn't evil. Didn't say that. It wasn't bad. It never said that. Whatever he created, it wasn't bad. Didn't say that. He created the, the, the tree of life. And then he created the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Think about it. He didn't create a tree, good and evil. He, tree, he created the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Only God knew, only person that knew about anything of good and evil was God. God knew it. Right? Right? It's, it's, it's not until Adam and Eve ate from the tree of good and evil. Now they know good and, and evil. Now they know good and evil. They ain't, they, they ain't know anything about evil or good. They ain't know anything about it. They, they just were supposed to just live in Eden and live blissfully and, you know, with the animals and whatnot. They ain't know anything about any, any of this stuff. Only God knew about it. He created the tree. Of, of knowledge, but everything else he created, the heavens and the earth and, and the animals and, 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 and the trees and everything was good. Now back to the question, why does God allow suffering? The thing is, you can't you can't really ask that question without blaming God, because if you ask that question as if is that it is as if you're blaming God. Now, the real question is the real question to ask is who will, who 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 creates the suffering? That's the correct question to ask. Who creates this pain? This, this, this suffering, um, this, this destruction, this, this, this poverty, this, this, uh, pain, this pain, the, the, the violence, who creates it, right? Who creates it? Who created it? Who, who has created it? Because you can't say God. Or you can say God, but the thing is, God never intended that for man and woman. Never. Never never intended for violence and all the destruction that we have here today for man. It's, it's not until we ate from the tree that this has happened. We did it to ourselves. From the beginning, we did it to ourselves. Right? So back so back to the... We did it to ourselves, right? Adam and Eve, they ate from, from the tree and... Things went down downhill from there. And then it, 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 sometimes it's up and some people, you know, some good people arise. But everything went downhill from there. Destruction and violence and everything has happened from, from eating from the fruit. Of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Now let's get back to the question. Who allows. Pain and suffering. Of today. Of we in 2022. Now you can't say. You can't say God. You can't really say God now right. You can't say God. 
Well, Daniel, why you say it can't? Don't God create everything? Why, why, why God? You know what I'm saying? Isn't responsible for creating all of this stuff? That's the question you're gonna ask, right? You can't blame God because if we're gonna go back, let's go back to Scripture. God had tried or judged Israel as the whole nation. He didn't try the one the one man that committed the trespass. He said Israel has sinned. So what what that what does that make us? When God looks at us today, he's looking at us as if we're Israel. He's trying us or judging us as a nation. As a nation, all of us, all, all of us, you, me, blacks, whites, Redskins, Africans, Canadians, gays, bisexuals, LGBTQ, everybody. He tries us as a nation. Why do you think, why do you think we're supposed to be communing with each other when it comes to church? We're supposed to be communing and talking about the Lord and, and blessing his name. The church is a good thing. You know, it's, a, it's supposed to be a good thing. We're supposed to be learning the word of God and not shying away from it. But that's for another video. He's trying us or judging us. As a nation, all of us, the whole entire earth. So, if I'm going to trespass, if, if Daniel here is going to trespass and, and commit a sin, I'm going to commit adultery or some or some something. Right? I might not get immediate. I might not get an immediate punishment because I've trespassed, right? I might not I might not get oh boom, you die. Because you know, let's let's go back to scripture. Every every um every sin is is waged to death, right? Right? You sin equals death, right? But read between read between the lines. If we're if we're tried as a nation, right? If I trespass, if I commit adultery, there's nothing stopping one of my cousins, girls, or or nieces from getting raped because I've I've trespassed. I have trespassed. But since she's a part of me, a part of my nation, my niece or a distant relative or whoever, anybody, someone that's on the other side of the earth could be raped. Right? Because it, let's let's think logically. Whatever you dish into the earth, whatever you dish into the earth, right? Whether good or bad, it's going to come back to you, right? It may not come back to you directly. It's going to come back to you by someone else, in someone else, or by someone else, or to someone else. Whatever you dish into the earth, you're going to receive, whether good or bad. If you bless someone tomorrow, if you bless someone today, right? You see them struggling, you pay for their groceries. You do it as a kindness of your heart. I I would hope 
I would hope you do it out of the kindness of your heart and not not to receive anything. But if you do do that out of the kindness of your heart, you may get a call tomorrow from your mom saying, well, I just, I just, someone just blessed me with 10 grand, 10 grand. And you're looking like, wow, God bless, right? You say that God bless, but that's because of what you did. You bless someone today. Your mom has got a 10, 10 grand tomorrow. It's what you, it's what you push into the earth is what you give. The goodness will be received to the rest of Israel. Think, think of the whole entire earth as Israel, right? As Israel, we're, we're all, let's say, let's say we're all Israelites, right? Let's just say it, right? You dish, you dish good into the world. Good, good is going to come back. It may not come back to you directly. It's going to come back to every, everybody else. That being said, the same goes for evil. You trespass on the word of God or any of the word of God, any of his commandments. Evil is going to come back into the world. You're, 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 you may be, you may, you may deem your, you may deem your little adultery act or whatever, or fornication or watching porn is something simple, but no, it's not because sin is sin, right? It's all tried the same sin is sin. No matter what sin is, it is once you commit it. You have broken the commandment of the Lord. The consequences is going to come back into the world. Into into the into Israel. So that go that, that does that answer the question? <laughs> does that answer the question? Do who 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 dishes out the suffering, right? When, when you ask, why does God allow suffering? That's not the question to ask. The question is, why is there suffering? Or who, who gives out this suffering? Who has who is creating the suffering and this pain and destruction of, of this of this world that we live in? It's us. It's us as human as as human beings, if you want to call us that. We dish it out. So when you complain, when you complain as to why, oh, my son was a good son, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and I'm not trying to, I'm not, I'm not trying to be funny. This is, this is real life stuff. This is real life. When you're on the news talking about how your son or daughter was a good kid right and they they perished or died in in some horrific way where their life was taken by someone else you got to look to yourself you got to look to yourself and like what what have you been dishing out in the world have you been preaching love because not many people preaching love now have you have you been have you been preaching god because god is love what have you been dishing out into this world you may say oh I ha i've been good i've been a good i've been a good person all my life yeah. But it's it's everyone else that's not doing what you, you said you're doing. It's it's up to us as Israelites. If I'm gonna call I'm gonna call everybody Israelites because of Joshua seven. Go back and read Joshua seven and look at it look at it in a different context. God said Israel has sinned. Not not just one man, not Archon, 
Aiken, I keep saying his name wrong. Israel has sinned. In scripture, I don't know the scripture a uh, number or chapter or book, but I, I, I'm going to get to the point where I know the chapters and the, and the books and the numbers and whatnot. But I know, I know, I know the scripture. One, one of the scriptures says, if your, what was it? Your right eye, if your left eye causes you to sway or, or sin, cut it out. If your right eye causes you to look to sin, cut it out. Cause it's better to be half blind. I'm, I'm paraphrasing right now. I'm, I'm paraphrasing. I'm paraphrasing the Bible. But it's better to be half blind than the whole body to be to be cursed or damned. Because what? The wages of sin is death, right? Like I said, if you sin or you commit an act of sin, which is breaking one of the Lord's commandments, you may not receive punishment on your own. You might not receive it, but someone else will because we are tried as a whole. We are tried as Israel. Israel has sinned. The earth has sinned. You, 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 you committed, you broken of commandment. So how do, how do we remedy that, right? How do we remedy that? If you're watching this video, how do how do we remedy that? We look to the Lord. We learn his 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 word. We look to Jesus for everything in, in healing. We dish it out. We preach in the streets or on the internet where or, you know whatever platform we get the word around. You get this video. If you share this video, you have done a work of God. You have done it. You 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 just started. We'll share this. Share it. Because the Lord is with you. The Lord is with all of us. It's just we have to reach out to Him. We have to reach out for him and, and, and grab him and hold him and hold him. Grab grab his garment. <laughs> grab his garment. Because he's he's here for you. You just gotta want him. You can't you can't blame him for everything because we have free will too. You can't you can't even blame the devil. The devil causes temptation, yeah. He he dangles it in front of you, right? He dangles it, but it's, it's really us to be like, mm, no, nah, I don't want it. Or, yes, you you go and get it. You have sinned if you if you went and after it. You He's dangling and you're going after it. You, you sin it. So now someone else has to pay for that sin. Someone else has to, to die or suffer or, or be in pain or, you know what I'm saying, have cancer and be in divulging violence and and, and and tyranny and financial problems or or something they, they have anxiety you did that you 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 caused it you caused it by 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 breaking the law of of, of the Lord you caused it we caused it so now what we gonna do now that you know, now, now that you heard this message, and 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 if you read Joshua seven, in a different context, in in, in the content I, that I have explained, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We gonna we gonna pick up our Bible, read the Word of God. Walk in his light. We're gonna dish out good into the world. We're gonna we're gonna preach good into the world. No evilness. Nothing evil. Nothing bad. We're not dishing out no negativity. Nothing but 
positive goodness health greatness love god we're going to help we're going to give we're going to help our fellow man man no payment no payment we're going to help our fellow man you see him struggling pick him up see him stumble pick him up you see him got no shoes buy him shoes because you got it shoes shoes come on now <laughs> you spend money on shoes you could buy someone some shoes you see him homeless ain't got no shoes on we we help we give we love that's what we do so that's the video um I hope you got something from it. Maybe I made it too long. It is what it is. The word had to go out. The word had has to get out. Um, the word of God has to get out. And I and I and I'm grateful that the Lord has I'm grateful that the Lord has uh given me this this voice. I mean it's it's not me, it's him really. It's him to give you this message. But all in all, I, I I I love you guys. Stay prayed up. Um, and just he 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 does he this message. That's it, man. Just he this message. And go with God in everything, man. And anything that you do, any decision that you decide to make in in life, you know, walk with God. Go with God and pray to Him, like, hey. You know, is this the right thing to do? You know, let's go, go with God and everything. But with that being said, I'm going to sign off. Man, I appreciate you guys for being here and taking the time to listen. I love you guys. I see you guys later.